Hey everybody, so I wanted to highlight something pretty cool that a lot of people might have some use for, um, and it's in the field of biomechanics, and it's been a few years, but nobody's covered it. Um, I hope I don't make anybody mad by highlighting this and making people too busy, but there is a cool tool. It's a set of four helmets, four LS Dyna finite element helmet models that have been developed by four universities through a NFL program where these helmets were created by these four universities and are just open to academic and research purposes to further helmet research. Basically, you can download these helmets as long as you have a academic or company email to sign up with. In order to do that, you just click this link. It'll take you to company BioCore's website and then you just have to sign up but again you need an academic or company email to sign up make sure you read the terms and conditions because you can only use this for non-commercial and research purposes but i wanted to highlight this because it's a really cool tool especially for students if you're trying to get into the field of biomechanics and you're interested in finite element analysis this is a really really neat application so once you download the models, you can go to the folder and look at them. I've got three downloaded, but first thing you should do is open the user manual. This is the impactor user manual that deals with the validation load cases that were used to validate the models. So that can be useful for anyone if they're looking to see how the models respond in these validation cases. But the individual helmet models themselves are in these folders. And again, the first thing you should do before you open is read the manuals. It'll tell you how to use them, how to open them, and how the models were developed and some details behind it. But if you want to open them, you just simply go to the helmet and then you can go to this main no fit file, drag it into prepost or any other preprocessor primer um, ANSA. So once the model's open, you can uh, look at it, mess with it, see how they modeled some things, and then you can use it. The first thing some people might be curious about is a lot of these things were modeled with simplified structures like shells to represent the outer thickness of the helmet. You can visualize the thickness by going into appearance, thick, all viz. So now it looks a little more realistic to what you'd expect. And then the same thing with the face mask, go up here to view and then beam prism. And there you go. So I've already got all these open here. Uh, here's the Zenith. Here's the shut, and then here's the Rydell. And then there's another one, which is the Vices. You can download that one too. So I do know one of the guidelines behind this and one of the goals of this project was to be able to run this on a personal computer. So if you have Dyna, a version of Dyna at your university or your company, you can run these hopefully on your personal computer. You won't need a, a cluster. Um, however, if you're a student and you don't have an official license and you're running off of this student version, I have bad news for you, is uh, the size limit for this is not big enough to run these. You can still open them, but you're not going to be able to run these, unfortunately. So it's a bit of a bummer, but uh, you might still be able to get uh, something useful out of it or just talk to your university and see if you can get a, a personal computer version of Dyna. And I want to highlight the big point of this project was the NFL wanted to provide these tools, these finite element helmet models to researchers like yourselves to innovate, right? And there's a big part in the terms and conditions here. So the whole point of these helmets is so that people can use them, modify them, change thicknesses, materials, whatever it takes to improve the helmet response. And then you can use those methods and whatever you're doing to create better helmets for the future because that's the whole point the nfl wants safer helmets but that's it i just wanted to highlight these and just share that anyone can use them if you are a student super cool project and it can be useful for um, the field of helmet safety and biomechanics if you can you know help with advancing this and you can use them for um, furthering helmet safety so yeah, talk to your administrators, talk to your professors, and see if this is something that they're interested in. And uh, yeah, that's it. But thanks for watching.